<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Hey, I'm the looking looking sleepy. I know, I know. Huh? Hey, everybody. What's up? Rap challenges. Schumacher. We are ready to go early and often. All right, guys. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's on the bus. He's on the bus. Look out. Serbian bus. Want to do today's daily puzzle? The daily puzzle. These are always easy. Uh, it's a nice way to warm up. Rook takes b7. How does that work exactly? I don't know, but it's a forcing move. Yeah, rook takes b7. Threatening queen takes c6. And then picking up a piece with rook takes b7. Queen b4 check. Taking the rook. That is the solution. Da 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 Okay, we got it. Yes, that was easy. How many points do I get for that? Nothing? I can tell you. Point system. All right. Schumacher's back. Now, back with more stuff. Is he online? He's black again. Record number of games. Let's see. He's over 400. The 400 club. Let's start with a nice, quiet night of three today. Yes, everybody. Welcome. I survived to another Monday morning after another very bad weekend. You like D5. I know you do. All right, we're starting with a little bit of a weird opening. Yeah. yeah, why not? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, man? If I play weird openings, you avoid your memorized repertoire that you're very comfortable with. This can be... Oh, well, you don't play the close, uh, well, sort of, you don't play the Fianchetto Kings Indian, sir. Sire? He's playing a Fianchetto Kings Indian, now he is. Well, actually, it can be a Peerts. It's not necessarily a Kings Indian. Um, but what kind of Peerts would it be if it were a Peerts? If you were a Peerts... Yeah, some person, I saw you there. Making instant simul moves. The only thing I hate worse than instant silent moves is bullet chess. The only thing I hate worse than bullet chess is the London system. So no London system today. Okay, it's Monday morning. I'm in pretty good mood for a Monday morning. And I woke up I woke up earlier today um, than usual. But the um you know the Mondays is still like yeah, you know, my my Monday um, trigger finger is pretty pretty itchy. If we're gonna ban somebody. It's gonna be Monday morning. Knight to d seven. That way on e four he can play like a coward with pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and e five. But unfortunately, there's not that many ways to wait to play this here. Um, <clears throat> no one here but us cowards. Instantly the coward move. To be fair, he doesn't really have another move there. Once he played enemy d7. Okay, the other move he has is e6, which is pretty ugly. Um, all right. Where's your bodice? Knight takes e4 is, is playable. We got two challenges already. 
CB Mohit and the Mohitans. No, wrong time control, CB. Ten plus O is the wrong time control. It's close. It's similar to seven plus five, effectively. But we like to have the increment. Increment allows me to, you know, take more time to talk about the games without stressing, and the game result isn't totally dependent on on just the clock, which kind of ruins chess in a way. You know, I think increments are good for the game. I think they improve the quality of chess rather than make it worse. Chess is the most important thing, not, not time. Now, what do we do? Okay. One possibility is B3. Another possibility is H3. It's always, there's always the um, popular overprotecting, overprotecting the central pawn. We need E2. <clears throat> Really spent a lot of time on that move. Very standard move. Potentially avoiding any queen exchanges early. C6. Logical. Now, B5 is a thing. Rook D1 is a thing. Rook D1 may be overrated. Um, but it's probably not a bad move. Now, I could play knight d2 trying to go to c4 into d6. However, he'll probably not allow that. And on the other hand, threatening knight to c5, which is really difficult to prevent. Um, welcome, everybody, to my stream. I'm international master somebody. Hey, um, what about like this B5 thing on the queen side? Should I stop that? If I stop that, you know, and if I do stop that, um, how seriously does that weaken my, my structure? So A4. Not absolutely necessary. Not absolutely necessary. But if you want to play knight d2, knight c4, it could be. Again, I, I think that knight d2, knight c4 might be overrated. Um... <clears throat> Anyways, now Petrosian had an interesting game I looked at last week with queen on c7. I always hated putting my queen on c7, but it has some value. With the queen on c7, the queen protects the pawn diagonally. In some cases, uh, that seems to be beneficial for black. Knight d2, knight c4, b3... Discompopulator. High quality, high quality, um, O against Sun Prism. No. This is Schumacher. Sun Prism is among the, the waitlist. Waitlist, he's been waitlisted. Uh, at Oxford. No, um, this can probably should be working. What is this? Memorial Day is a holiday only in the United States. I need glasses. <clears throat> I should really get glasses before the world <laughs> before the World Senior Team Championship. I remember this time I played international master Michael Brooks, and he had like the poor guy was so poor that he had like broken glasses. His glasses only had like one side to the frame. Well, maybe, maybe, you know, it wasn't just because he was poor. Maybe they broke and he had no choice. But um, it, it was pretty sad. It felt bad for him. 
Yep. This is my Monday streaming lunch break. Streaming lunch break. Stream your lunch break. Eating stream. Wow, dude. That's pretty crazy. Why? Why? Why would anybody do that? Why would anyone play that move? You've got to ask yourself. Why? Why would you do that? What would be the purpose of that? There. Courting. You're just courting complications. To what, to what purpose? Rook d3, knight c5, bishop a3, queen b6, queen e3, knight fd7. Why are you courting these awkward complications, bro? My bro, my bro friend. You're my bro friend. Who would want to court such awkward complications voluntarily? The queen is nice and safe on e7 and you put it on b4. To what purpose? So that's what he does. Not necessarily. You think? Well, he doesn't have a very sharp repertoire. He plays solid, solid openings. His openings are extremely Extremely sound. Queen's Queen's pawn game. Queen's game declined. Harrow Khan. You couldn't really have a sounder opening up far. But he does tend to he does tend to play relatively dynamically in the middle game. Um, now you're not threatening many, anything. Right? Wrong. Right? Wrong. Ah, oh, there goes. There goes that theory. He was threatening the e4 pawn. Uh oh. He was threatening the e4 pawn, and he still is. I have trouble counting. It's hard to count, really. Some was forced because he. He'd be losing his uh, his nugget if it wasn't for that. Lucky, 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 lucky here. Um, yeah, I mean it was a big mistake to let him trade those pawns. This this really frees him. Freeze him up. I mean, now his queen has done like a stupid idiot on b4. 
played h3 it was really unnecessary i could have just played rookie one or something now the game appears somewhat balanced Careful now, friend. What? What is that? What is that? Yeah, I mean, knight c5 is very solid. Knight e6, knight e6, rook d7. Knight back to c5. This is worse. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. C four. Let the torture begin. Oh, got me. You got me. Double rooks. The e6 pawn is, is a really big liability. I mean, it's hard for black. And, and the 7th seventh, seventh rank, he has to be careful of that. Oh, my pawn's attack. Oh my god. You sneaky dog, you. So. Mm hmm. He's gonna lose on time. He's gonna lose on time. He could lose on time. Not necessarily. Rook. E5 is a threat. I like this open file. Oh, yes. Yes, Master. Give Rook F5? No. I said no. said no just say no you see everything I didn't want to let this rook on the loose. Oh, that's fatal. That is fatal. Should be fatal anyway.
I can still screw this up. Mm -hmm. Where? Let me check. That's a rook? Dude, you almost tricked me. I didn't even realize the pawn was in take. No. Oh my god, you did that? So you can still play on after rookie four. I have to I have to have good technique to finish you off here. It's not that simple. You, sh you should have chances. Did I make a mistake in time pressure? Apparently he was equal. Yeah, this knight c3 move was terrible. You could have gone to c5 and everything was fine. Knight e6. Knight e6, rook d7, knight c5. And I'm only like optically better. It's a draw. It should be a draw. I completely blundered knight c4. Oh man, I had knight e5. Yeah, queen e4 was insane. This is an insane move. <clears throat> All right. That was an insane move. You're welcome. Well, we got... This compiler is just tip $5. I didn't hear the notification. It must have turned the volume down too, though. Normally I hear it. Thank you, typic five dollars. We're over a thousand now. Yeah, I've played I played A five a lot. But I've been playing it for 20 years. One day I just started, you should play Rook A6. One day I just started playing A5 against B3 and then I noticed that lately there are quite a few like good players that have played it. I have no idea like what the best move is against A5. 
for white here. We'll consult Astrobate. Queen e4 um, was a weird move. But you lucked out, you were completely equal. Yeah, you didn't see knight c5. Remember? Once you play knight c3, it's it's pretty difficult. And it's a very awkward position for black. I would say. I expected to win. You know, even a good player is not having an easy time defending. I mean, you're a good player, but I mean, even like a very strong player, like a GM would have a hard time defending that ending. Okay. Just a quiet opening, start things off here. I'm a terrible player. And if I'm a terrible player, how good are you guys? No, I'm just kidding. All right. I was talking about poker. Um, C4, D6. We're getting... Everybody's a King's Indian player these days. Man, I wish Astrobate was here playing his... Playing his his B three opening. If I play D four, it's like very inflexible. I mean, Black has control of E four from there on out. From there on out, <clears throat> so quiet, quiet approach. Yeah, I don't like to play um, sharp positions when I'm not awake yet. Although I've been awake, I'm not awake awake. Not as sharp as I would like to be. But I like the way you're playing this. I'm playing a positionally based game. I would probably play very much similarly if I were black. Positional. There's a hard word to define exactly what it means, but it sounds cool to say it. Right? Am I right? Am I right? You say positional player. Laymen are like, what does that mean? And rightfully so. What exactly does that mean? You know, I often ask myself. It implies there's this dichotomy between tactical players and quote unquote positional players, which I think we're all guilty of categorizing people too much into these like boxes. There are some players who are almost like completely tactics based, but I think that's kind of rare. Relatively rare. The quintessential park hustler could be like a completely tactics based player. I mean, someone who's good at tactics, they can win the game in one move very quickly, oftentimes. So it's effective in a fast format like Blitz Chess.
ultimately that's why there's a lot of like chess hustlers who really aren't very strong like standard tournament players but they can be quite good at fast chess there's this famous hustler in in what in new york city russian paul and russian paul i never i don't think i ever played him but he wasn't that strong of a of an otb player but he was extremely good at blitz I'm neither. LOL. Ha. That's right, Richard. That's why you're here. We're going to round you out. Spill you out as a chess player. Um, man, some prism is all business today. Playing like, it feels like I'm playing against myself. If I were playing against myself, this is how I would play with black. Rock so oh, oh no F three see this is tactics F three rt c three e three F three rt c three queen d four check queen f six <sighs> queen d five What do I have against knight c2 anyway? It's a great square. I'm biased. I love a good knight on c2. Just because it very rarely is a good square. I'm, I'm disrespecting this. Bottom line is I want to play f3. Get your rook off of e4. And if I have to play knight c2, I'll play knight c2. It's not a great square, but it's better than nothing. Black, on his side, has a better outpost for his knight. I am CB Mohit. We're close to getting banned. What's up, Astrobate? Can we ban Title Tuesday from the from the from the chat words that are? Can we make it a ban? <laughs> I don't know. Anything that has to do with with that chess site, I want to ban. Nothing more makes me like physically ill. All right. F5. I have no, no interest in that. No, online, online tournaments are perfect format for cheating, right? Just ask Hans. He's in old hands. All right, what are we gonna do here? Um, it's wonderful having like no advantage at all. Yeah, I know you do that. I'm gonna put my knight on d4. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly what I would do if I were you. Perfect game by black and white. He's more perfect than me, I feel like. Knight c5. Queen takes f6 check, followed by knight to d4. Oh, man. I'm going to go back to sleep. Hey, everybody. Hey, Astrobate, have you seen our new remote?
what's he thinking about? He's he spent a minute thinking about whether to offer a draw or not. That's right. This is your opening. This is for you. Plead Asterid's opening. This bud's for you. How in the world could white possibly be better here? And you're, you'd be right to ask that question. This is extremely equal. Fur queen. Or does it say tur? Tur. I hung my queen. Exactly. Yep. That's what I was thinking. If you say so. No, just traded it. Queen has been exchanged. Careful. Hmm. Hmm. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Man. Maybe I'm having food coma. I had a good breakfast before the stream. A healthy breakfast is the is the important way to start the day. My coffee exploded on the on the oven today. I left it on the stove too long. And I lost like 20% of my coffee. Some person, maybe he's on the bus or something. Why is he taking so much time? Hmm. Suspicious. Yeah, really, it's a good sign to see him thinking. He normally doesn't think. Thinking is good for your game. And good for your brain. I missed the bus there. I really should have paid attention to what he was doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Roadrunner. All right. What's your favorite cartoon character, Acerbate? Mm -hmm. Andy Panda Andy Andy That's amusing. That's very amusing. Draw. <sighs> Quality, not quantity. Quality is job one. Pawn quality. All right. We got a follow from Anchu B six five. Anchovy. Where did the game go over the edge? Is the critical question. You played too passively. I think you had b5 earlier. Your king on c6. Like, around here, you have to try for b5. You have to try for... You have to create, you know, active counterplay. This is where you you lost the game. You know, you, you got to
two concessions, trading on g4 and and then passive king move. I mean, it's possible it's still not lost after that, but it's like you're putting yourself in a bad on a bad footing. Okay. Discombobulator CB Mohit raided. Raided, no raideds. Raided raid. Follow the channel, donate, support us. Guys, we're 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 moving next month. It's gonna be stressful. It's gonna be ugly. We gotta do what we gotta do. I want to queue up the Jeffersons, you know, intro. I'll probably get hammered on a copyright infringement. Moving on up. That was one of the great. Seventies, eighties. TV show intros. To a deluxe apartment. In the sky. All right. Um, what about C5? Sacrificing a pawn. That's spicy. We don't do that. I have another idea. Never play queen a5. You know that one. Never play queen a5 unless it's good. I see. Acerbate. Too slow, is it not? Knight takes e4. Did you ever run the the um on Google the like translator? Knight takes e4. Hello. Knight takes e4. Bishop g7, king g7, queen d4, check. Knight f6. This is a pawn. This is your brain on pawns. Ask yourself why the opponent made his move. Why did I play my queen a5? Why would I do a thing like that? And you rang. That's it, man. Chess is easy. Chess is is over before you know it. The center, center. You've reached our call center. For more information, press three. If you'd like to speak to a live representative,
We're sorry. That won't be possible. Celery, celery drag, celery to dragons. Celery to the decelerated dragon. Celery dragon. Astri, what's your favorite soup? He's going to say something like SpaghettiOs or pork and beans. Wait, that's not soup. Okay, soup. Celery cream, celery cream soup. Those little fishes. My day four, nice try. Nice try. I'm oh, back again. Pawn phalanx. Top ramen. Po levesh. <sighs> Stay in your side. Stay on your side, man. No. No. There's no button. No. 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 <clears throat> you don't play with the buttons enough lately. But I don't want to overdo it. Too much of a good thing. This is beautiful. Bishop A6, B4. See if we can clean this up a little. That bishop is a blockader. I mean, it's 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 stopping my pawns from reaching the goal goal line. The past pawn heading like O.J. Simpson for the Mexican border. He's going south on the interstate in a red Bronco. Now, if white wants to be combative, there is, there is B4. I had to carefully, I had to carefully calculate the ramifications of that. 
right inside sided it's still good for black I'm only up one pawn Oh, you played a move. Okay. C4. You know, in retrospect, I didn't consider knight d5, but it would drop that pawn on e4. Nice move, c4. Blockading. But, unfortunately, now I have two pass pawns. So, ultimately... I don't think it's going to be enough. These pawns are really, really strong. Hmm. <laughs> can regroup I guess there are a lot of ways to do this putting my queen in an awkward place not my favorite solution follow edge is not a command but it probably is in some parts of the planet That's not in the freaking Scrabble dictionary, you know. We're blocking our own pawn now. Yeah, I, I get this is not ideal. It could, in fact, lead to the loss of material. <clears throat> Bishop c2? Uh-huh. It's in there. Prego. Tutelage. Threatening, you guessed it. That's triple attack. Yikes. Trying to stay awake on Monday morning. Not an easy thing to do. You sack the piece. Wow. Shouldn't be enough. Even Bishop takes C4 is probably winning.
This is definitely winning. That's it, folks. That's it. Another endgame grind. You're out of the box. Well, you, you don't want the pawn. All right. You don't want it. I'll take it. Not getting out. Play for stalemate. This is stalemate. You have two squares, three squares. You have a lot of squares. Take your pick. Any squares to go to. All right, honestly. Try for stalemate again. GM, GM Thomas is rating with party of 47. Thank you for the raid. What's up? Hey, what's up, everybody? We got a raid. It's a very exciting finish here. Our opponent won't resign. Nedog, can you can you enable the chat so that the raiders can can uh, can chat with us? Set uh, Nedog, set set the uh, command now. Tom's is reading with party forty seven. Thanks, guys. Got followage from GM Tom's Sanath French expert E6. First time chat from Raider. Thank you, Mr. Coffee's here too. I am Raider. GM Tom's. Welcome. Thanks for, for stopping by. Alright, guys, we're taking rapid challenges. He's Kim Bobby later. Disco. We've seen Tom's streaming here. I never met you, but it's my pleasure. Thanks. Have a great stream. Thank you. And we'll see you again. Kind of him to raid. Mr. Lost. You think you can handle this 20, 20, 250 player? Tom, thanks for the raid. 250 player. Um... I've never beaten anyone, honestly. I think I think when I was I think when I was little I, I, I like beat like uh when I was like eleven, twelve. Like I beat someone who was rated like six hundred. But I've never won a game against someone under six hundred. No, I've never beaten anyone under six hundred, is what I'm saying. That's my problem. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, there, well, there were no ratings really under, I mean, I never saw anyone under 600. This just didn't happen. 
<clears throat> the rating system has been has been lowered. So there were literally no rated players under like under 600. I remember like one or two that were around 600, 700, but that was like the record. So it's true. I have never beaten anyone under 600. So if you're 250, um, now 2,500. Those are hard. Those are hard. All right, Discombob Leader, what are we doing here? This is a uh, kind of weird move, Knight A3. How bad can it be? Well, yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But your bishop outside the pawn chain, feeding established minimum of 1,400. No way. What are you kidding? Mr. Coffee will look into it. <clears throat> I'd like to know what my future floor will be. You know, if I live that long, get down to fourteen hundred. Um, I, yeah, I'm very stable. My rating has always fluctuated between P day. 20, 22, my lowest was like 22, 25, my highest, 24, 70, so pretty consistent. We're dropping like a brick now due to rating deflation. Fee day is 1400 minimum. Aha. Uh -huh. I was not aware of that. I didn't know there was a minimum. Right, like US readings go lower. Good to know. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. I try to stay away from opponents who are lower than 2,000. I mean, once in a while. Although, the lower my rating gets, the more I'm going to be facing 2000s. There's, there's rating deflation all over the place in, in U.S. tournaments as well. What I can see. See, the problem is online chess is messing everything up. I mean, people just get better online, and then the rating like in over-the-board tournaments is totally skewed. That's not a new thing, but it's happening more and more and more. So... Over the board ratings becoming less accurate for obvious reasons. I'm from the US, but I haven't lived there much lately. I live in Europe. I live in <clears throat> future USSR, Budapest, Hungary. Queen a5, never play queen a5. I've told you once, I've told you a million times, everybody. He made me play the French defense. I didn't enter this game wanting to play the French defense. You do know that, right? This position, not my, not my field of expertise. There was a 14-year-old guy who played in a tournament. Uh, no, I mean, dude, Rapid is ridiculous. Like, I, had, I mean, I played in Rapid tournament, and I got paired with this young girl who, uh, on the wall chart, was like 1,800 or something. And it was the first round, 
this is a while ago. This was a few years ago. It was first round. I'm I'm one of the top five players in the rapid tournament. Um. And honestly, I I saw the rating was like eighteen or nineteen hundred, so I just took it very lightly. I didn't take the game very seriously. I played e four knight h six, and she just she just like butchered me. And then um, no, it turns out that she was like an I am strength player whose whose normal rating was like 20, 2400. But this happens all the time. Like you can't even like pay attention to people's ratings. Like rating normal ratings bad enough, but rapid ratings are ridiculous because they're inaccurate and, and blitz is even worse. I've never played in a FIDE blitz tournament. So I didn't have a FIDE blitz rating. Um Yeah, but the rapid readings, yeah, it happens. I think Prognanatha had something like that where he was he was very low rated in rapid because he had no games or something like that. Until recently. I don't like playing the discombobulator. He's he's too good. First off, I don't like playing this player because he's too good strategically. Secondly, he's playing tricky openings. Thirdly, it's Monday morning. Fourthly, I hate the French defense style positions. Um... Yeah. Thanks for posting your crafty link there. Um, but I think the most strong players I know don't care about rapid or blitz ratings. Okay, then. That's a nice. Easy win, game over. I've never been one on poison candy, but this night looks like a Scooby snack. Take, take 97. Queen g4 check, knight g6. If he takes the rook... Um... Now, let's try it. It'll probably go wrong. Actually, there could be a problem. No. I always have knight g6. This is my saving grace. I mean, I want to refute this. I could play king h8, but I want to refute this. If it's possible. g 4 wins. Perhaps it does, but I don't have my engine running. I'm going to need to see... I'm going to need to see a little more evidence before I make any pronouncements on one side winning or not. Even if I have to sack the exchange to give a piece back, his base is falling on c3. I have knight b6 to close the b-file. The a-pawn is passed. So it's like kind of like worst case scenario. I'm going to be sacking the exchange for pretty good compensation. There's one thing about my position I don't like, but I don't like to talk about it. I don't like to talk about things I don't like point out the weaknesses of my position for my opponent while I'm playing. Okay. That's fine. You can have that. Right? 
Between takes. Enjoy. Now, I can also sack on e5. I'm thinking we're giving this piece back, obviously. <laughs> Here's another one. Where that came from. I don't know if this is the right idea. It's probably not. I'm going to take with the pawn. And use the knight to protect my dark squares. We have two pawns for the exchange. Wait a minute. I'm not down the exchange. I'm just two pawns up. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's a good. <laughs> two pawns up. We'll take it. Damn, he's dangerous though, this character. Mr. Coffee. Bishop takes h6 is imprecise. Bishop takes h6. Is it precise? Ah. That may be. White, white has some sort of perverse move like queen g4. I see. I haven't fired up my engine today. What's up, Nedog? I'm, I'm likely to miss the engine moves for my opponent. Uh huh? Wow. Speaking of imprecise, impresario. Now there's a crazy move. Signs you might be psychopathic. Mm. Top five signs. Your opponent, your opponent is a psychopath. Sacrifices whole rooks just to stay in shape. Uh, G5. Bishop G5. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know about this. So we got time if we don't panic here. You now, if I defend g6, I don't see this winning. First of all, we have to defend g6. Then I have to be able to meet the threat of queen h6 can be done. Well, I can't prevent, maybe I can't prevent queen h6, but I can sure try. Right, right. I'm just going to let you walk right into h6 and mate me. Aha. Uh -huh. Great attacker. He is a great attacker. G5. Wow. 
G5, Rook F7, or G5. Rook F7. Now what? Now, how is he winning exactly? What's what's the trick here? It's no time. That's how he's winning. I see. He's winning on time. All right. Would you like to trade queens, maybe? No? Why not? I love my light square bishop, though. It's like not even having an extra piece. It's a really good time. Is this important? Is that important, that pawn there? Yeah, this was... Get... Get down there, pawn. Wind. Thanks, dude, for pointing out, you know. Alternative wins. Guess what? There's more than one move that wins. In a winning position, oftentimes. All right. Chess Master 1205. I got other challenges first. If you are a subscriber, I like that, Butcher of Truth. If you are a subscriber, you can play first. Uh, all right, Mr. Slow. But I want to thank GM Toms for the, for the raid, bringing some new viewers to the stream. All right, what's up, guys? So, Mr. Slow. Mr. Lost has followed Mr. Slow. And followed. Mr. Slow played the Mora Gambit yesterday against me. Raider from Geotoms. I like how it does that now. That, that tells us who's new and came over from the raid. That was fun. That was not fun. I disagree, this discombobulator. I felt discombobulated. I didn't really enjoy that as much as you. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Exchange variation. Oh. Horrible. All right. I don't like, like, F6. I mean, every time I've played F6, I get, like, a crap position. Really dislike that move. This seems better, honestly. Play bishop d6. Now we have to play F6 anyway, but I still like it better than the other line. 
There's something happened. It's a donation. Wow, Italian machine is here. Early. I haven't done any Red Dead Redemption streams. Italian machine last saw... He was last seen attending my Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption stream. Um, Italian machine, thanks for donating 100 bits. It's Memorial Day in the U.S., but you're Canadian. You guys... You guys have the same? You don't have the same holiday, right? <clears throat> or do they do that in do they do that in Canada? Memorial Day? Like as well? Good question. I don't know about ninety seven actually. I wouldn't know. It's an interesting question. Does Memorial Day happen in, in Canada? They don't die. They just move on. Don't think so. Um, I mean, Memorial Day. Memorial Day is. Uh, well, I don't really understand the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Anyway, Memorial Day is a big holiday in the United States. It's a federal holiday, so everyone has off today. I don't live in the United States, so it doesn't really matter to me. But. Um, had the same position recently, and I guess I took on e5. Wonder if Mr. Slow really knows his stuff here. Anyway, just wondering. I've never seen you in one of my morning streams. Well, morning in West. It's morning in somewhere. Anyway, it's morning for me. I wake up at like twelve. Or, I mean, I start working at. And midday usually, so if you want to call it working. Okay, so I played knight f5 in a game online. I think my opponent played queen e4, and I played queen e7. That went pretty well. So let's try it again, shall we? Memorial Day honors those in the military that died in wars. Veterans Day honors those that served that are still living. Mr. Coffee, I did not understand that. Mr. Coffee is a veteran, so we can honor him on Veterans Day. Mr. Coffee is not honored on Memorial Day because he's still with us. Very interesting stuff indeed. But I live in Hungary, so I don't have to celebrate. We have other, other weird holidays here. All right. <clears throat> I live in the future USSR. All right, so you played the same move as the guy I played on my, in my anonymous game. Was it my simul, maybe? I don't know, but I had this position already. I have this weird feeling that Mr. Slow doesn't really know this line. He usually knows theory, like, extremely well. But maybe this is fine for white. And then my opponent just screwed up at this point in the other game. They have to die in wars or just veterans who have passed. Yeah, I don't think... I think... I don't know. Does it count if you're abducted by aliens? Do you know, Mr. Coffee? Does alien abduction count? Are people from the X-Files included? They don't have to die in wars. They can die in toxic, toxic dump, uh, military covert operations, do do radiation poisoning. It doesn't necessarily have to be wars. Correct. They don't have to die in wars. Mm -hmm. But they have to die. That's the important thing. All right, so Rook AE1, a seeming improvement over my last opponent when I played this variation before. We have the bishop pair. Pairs of bishops. Bishop E6, knight takes C6. 
Pawn takes c6. Bishop takes d6. We lose a pawn there. Pawn to bear. We lose a pawn to bear there. What if I played rook e8? You have a check. I have bishop e6. Rook e8 is counterintuitive. I'm developing a piece. We have possibly queen f6. Pawn to bear. Rook e8. I like black packs fine here, but what do I do? Could be six. Doesn't work. We said that already. Um, all right. I feel, I feel like queen f6 is wrong too. What about queen h4? Strange. No, it doesn't allow for bishop e6. I have to watch the queen c4 check. That's why. The last step is a doozy. Queen e6 is also possible. And I'm out of book. I don't know what to do. Help. Thank you for your service, Mr. Coffee. Today is Memorial Day. You don't have to thank Mr. Coffee for his service today. Just went through this. Wow. I thank him anyway. It's weird living in Europe for 20 years. I, I completely lost, like, I lost, like, the thread of U.S. holidays. It's like losing track of the NBA and, and major league sports. Hey, speaking of sports... Now, did you see the news yesterday from the Red Sox game? Just, I just want to make make a random comment, okay? Um, it's it's like apparently there was like a bench clearing. The Red Sox game, the bench is cleared because the Red Sox relief pitcher was talking shit because. The Brewers, like, tried to bunt, like, two batters in a row or something, and he felt that was, like, Bush League. But, I mean, dude, really, like, you're not allowed, I mean, it really, you know, this is, this is really... That's the way it's got to be now? I mean, I don't know, dude. That seems really childish to me. It's a close game. It's like a close game. It's like two to one. And it seems like things like bunting is part of the game. We don't have to be crybabies. You know, I don't know who it was, some new reliever for the Red Sox that started the thing. But it's like, that just seems really dumb. You know, like, you have to swing the bats. You have to swing the bats. It's American League, man. Swing the bat. It's not like they're bunting when they're up by six or something. It's a two to one game. And you got like Christian Yellick or something like that. It sounds really stupid. Like baby. Little League crap you know if they want to bunt they can bunt like it's fucking part of the game that's so ridiculous bunting 
Lifting two batteries in a row is not allowed. I guess it's bad for... Bad for, uh... Major League Baseball, like... Excitement. Viewership or something, but, uh... Old school... Old school baseball, like hustle and, and stuff like that, is already, like, kind of... It feels like a video game more and more. We all love baseball here in Europe. Alright, so... What's baseball? Mr. Slow has me with the wonderful world of of white square pawns. White square pawns against knights. Bad bunting bishops. The bun the buntings are a group of old old world passerine birds forming the genus Asturbate, you're like you're literally Alexa. Did I trigger your Alexa or something? By talking about bunting? That's pretty funny. At least we didn't trigger a bench clearing brawl. Like, I'm all for bench clearing brawls, but not over nothing, you know? That's just stupid. That's just like you're you're pissed because you lost two games in a row. I mean, it seems to me it's just bad sportsmanship. I don't know, man. What's happening with the Celtics? Oh, the other night, like, well, the other night was crazy. The Celtics are in the playoffs. And I was watching, they were losing by like 20 in the third quarter, and they came back to win, like right at the buzzer. And I never watch basketball, because I don't stay up late enough to watch. That's the problem, like it's it's really hard to stay up late enough to watch live, live sports from, from North America. Yeah, well the third game was like, oh my god, they were losing like, 64 to 46 or something and came back it was it was pretty crazy i like literally stopped watching because i figured they were gonna lose anyway it's nice to what am i trying to do here um mr slow is tough he's a tough customer damn it his queen is pretty good. I need some dark square control. Yeah, I don't like that queen. He's a pro. Mr. Slow Pro. Go Pro. His favorite camera is the is the GoPro. Well, I mean, if two teams are three and zero, I think it's like what are the statistical chances they won't play? I don't know, man. What the statistical chances of even one of those teams not making the next round of playoffs would be? Pretty low. Can always ask Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee is like statistics as expert for. I found that where he works. Wow, Rook E1. 
Oh no. So what happened to the opening here? Mr. Slow didn't get an advantage against me in the opening. Telling you, man, this variation is... I guess why maybe you ought to like look into the other lines with C3. Because this just seems like Deadville. Okay, okay, if you play this accurately. So knight c3 is inaccurate. He didn't know the line well enough. This is seriously inaccurate. You lost your edge after knight c3 and e5. You got nothing. So knight f5 is actually a mistake. That's interesting, wow. Wow, this is a cool trick. Black has knight g6 here. Man. Subtle. Knight g6. So, Solak lost with white. Uh, if you take, you get hammered by bishop takes h2 check. Interesting, interesting. E5 is definitely not good. All right, Mr. Slow. Didn't know an opening. Shocker. Guys, uh, this is probably going to be our last game for today. We're going to butcher the truth. Butchering the truth with the Butcher of Truth. From Kazakhstan. Dallas Mavericks. I mean, they have one of the best basketball players in the NBA. Jokic is just a monster. He's a monster. It's Serbian school of basketball. It's so one thing I, I don't really understand. Why are why are Serbians so tall compared to say like Hungarians? Um Serbian and Croatians are really tall. And it's just weird. Because they're like out of place with the other Balkan countries. People have like average height. I I don't know what it is. It seems like maybe there was some Viking tribe or something. I really have to complete my studies of of the Balkan the history of the Balkans. Um Maybe there was a Viking, a major Viking invasion at some point. B5, knight takes B5. Here we go again. Last time I lost in this, I always misremembered this line. The Vikings went pretty far. Though, you know, interesting, like, Historically, everybody always thinks of the Viking, like Viking went to, at Leif Erikson went to North America, discovered North America, whatever. They have a huge influence on, on the history of like 
Russia, other other places where they went. I just wish I had studied history. But everybody's like, don't study history. It's the most useless thing, you know. Did anybody else get that when they were when they were in, in school? Like people giving you advice to never study history because it doesn't pay or um I got this constantly. Definitely no need for history if you're gonna go into politics, right? That's for sure. Um, so you played, you played this right last time. Last time, I feel like I faced, did you play this right? Wait, are you supposed to, you're supposed to play a six, aren't you? Actually. I feel like he was supposed to play a6, and he didn't play it. You omitted, you omitted the essential a6, the essential salts of the position. Without a6, we have tactics. Right, Astrobate? Benoni expert? My favorite Benoni expert? <sighs> All right. Now, what do I do? Um, I have keen awareness of my failure to play these types of solutions correctly in the past. Including the ideas of moving my queen to a4 and b3, which need to be considered. Bishop f6 was traditionally normal move, but um, Arsenal fan, one of our regulars here, played similarly against me. Can anyone mm, send me maybe 2 million euros? Then I can watch the stream all day. I would settle for just like a thousand euros. So I could go to um, the World Senior in Krakow in July. But two million would be nice. All right. Better to give me money. Well, you get two million and you give some to me and everybody's happy. Sharing is caring. As they say at Hallmark. Mm-hmm. He hath omitted you omitted me. Queen h4. Wow. It's going to take that pawn on me. Pawn on me. Pawn on me. Pawn dynamics. All right. Defender of the pawn. Yeah, well, there's more to life than a pawn. Give up my extra bishop here. It's like cutting off your, your arm. 
No way I'm giving you my darks for bishop. You're gonna have to make a concession for that. Yeah, but Yeah, I don't think that's the right move. Okay, maybe black is still fine. Yeah, maybe it's fine. That's not fine. However, necessarily, not the safest move. Now I have queen e4, pinning and winning. Pinning and spinning. This is your life. My first time playing queen e4 in this line, I still don't like the position I got. But thanks to knight takes d5, we have a shot. Don't know that this one's a piece necessarily. But it might as well. Guys, I gotta go after this game. It was nice knowing all of you. I hope I live till tomorrow. It always takes me um, quite a while to recover from the weekend. Do do. Massive psychological damage. Psychological and financial damage inflicted upon me on Saturday nights, followed by the brutal realities of, of our simul, the classical simul every Sunday. Usually takes me till about Thursday to be myself again. But I do appreciate the donation from, from Disco today, the contribution. All right, so the permission slip has been granted should take c3 played if i um, am not mistaken now i have to look into tactics but i don't think we got anything we got to go with pawn takes now obviously queen h7 is a big idea c4 is threatening to win a piece this is a move I kind of expected. Black seems to be in a very dangerous place now. Check. Rookie one looks strong. Check in rookie one. Check and rookie one. Or rookie one. Rookie one first. Rookie one first. If I play rookie one first, he can't play knight f4, blocking my bishop's pressure on, on d6. This looks pretty, pretty nasty for black. I'd be surprised if he can survive this. We'll be there for a few games as for bait. Tomorrow night, Tuesday tournament night. Bring your bring your money. Uh Tuesday. Tournament Tuesday. Absolutely. Tomorrow night. Bat defense. 
one key point in the position, but not enough. Wrapping it up nicely here. Butcher of truth. All right, guys, what happened here? Um, we got lucky. I mean, I, I constantly forget my theory here. Yeah, he's supposed to play a6, but how bad is it to not play a6? So, yeah, bishop f6 is normal. Huh. That's pretty funny. The only game in the database... Guess who played it? Hmm. So my memory is really sharp, you know? I have the only game in this position where this happened. From 2004. 20 years ago, my memory is, is really good on, on this stuff. I just, I remember beating Be Bela Yuhas, but I don't remember the game. Any, any of it. Whatever. An old, an older FM, and uh, I played Queen D2 in that game. Queen D2 is interesting because it stops H6. So is it possible that I unimproved on my own play from 2004? Am I evolving or devolving? 2004 move isn't in, in the Stockfish top three. But the 2024 move is third. Is third best. So I'm getting better, <laughs> apparently. We're getting better. Queen A4 is apparently stronger than Queen D2. Queen D2 leaves white with... Point three advantage, and Queen A four leaves way with a point five. Thanks TFS for the for the bit donation. So I continue to improve. Now, now he was out of the he was out of the box completely. Yeah, but I I can't find Queen B three. This is too weird of a move. I would never find queen b3. You can play queen b3 right away. Man, that's that's tricky. It's easier to play queen d2. I should have stuck with the queen d2, which I understand better than queen a4. Queen a4 is like hoping for this. And now black was fine. If he just plays knight of 7 h6 is okay too. After bishop h4, he just has to play knight on bd7, and everything is fine. Black is better. Structurally, just your timing was bad with g5, weakening the king side. Even now, you can still play knight on bd7. But this is fatal. Yeah, he just missed queen e4, and, and that was it. That was the cheapo. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you later. That uh, nice knowing you. See you guys Tuesday night tournament. Thanks for the support, donations, million dollar contributions, etc. Tuesday night tournament. Be there. Bye bye.